Hi guys, so I have um, upgraded my phone to the um, new user um, interface for the Samsung S7 Edge um, and I've upgraded it to Nougat. So what I thought is I would do a video just to take you guys through it, show you all of the different features and functions and things that, work, that I think work quite well and what's new about it really. So first of all on the lock screen, um, as you can see here, um, this always on display is pretty much the same. Um, however, what you now get is you get um, notifications. So for example, if I was to get a WhatsApp message, I would see the WhatsApp icon just here um, and then so on and so forth. So for your Facebook, for your Instagram, for your Snapchat, you would see different icons all along here. If we unlock the screen, um, hopefully it lets me, there we go. Okay, so if we unlock the screen, you will see um, icons have changed so they're now square calls so they're square circles or circular squares um, essentially with rounded edges and it looks a bit better I think in my opinion as you can see that's the phone icon now so that's changed messages has changed do you know what the best thing that's changed is the calendar it's now actually called calendar I don't know about you guys but this was a pain to actually try and find because I kept trying to search for organizer, calendar, I searched for everything apart from S Planner and then it was always after about 30 seconds of searching did I remember it was called S Planner. Thank God they have actually changed it and this has probably been a godsend for me. They finally changed it to what everyone calls it which is a calendar. Um, that's changed. Gallery, so again your gallery icon looks different as well so I'll show you that so you can see that's your gallery icon. And then your notifications window, um, that or your quick settings window, again, that's changed as well. So you can see, hopefully, there we go. They all look really different. And if I pull it down, you can see again, there's all of your notifications just there. All your That's your notification pane. And then you've got your secondary settings. So you've got access to more settings on this, win on this little drop down. Your notifications have changed as well. So your notifications come through slightly different. A little bit better actually because you can now read your notifications without having to open it and um, you can also reply straight from here so what it does is it will show you your notifications along here you hit reply and it opens up a little box and then you can reply straight away without even having to open the app um, if I drop this down again what you will notice is these two settings are new so you have blue light mode there you go so finally um, Samsung have catched up with Apple and they've integrated a blue light filter which I think is brilliant um, ooh, hello there we go so on your blue light filter you've got um, your op opacity settings so there we go I'll show you can adjust it slightly and then if I hit done and then you've also got your performance mode so on my performance mode hopefully you can pick it up I've got it set as um, what do I have it as optimized you've got the settings for gaming entertainment or high performance if I select high performance what it will do is it will change my screen resolution to the highest possible setting as well as increase my screen brightness by 10% and then what else can I show you in the settings so if we go into settings settings has changed this is quite good device maintenance so when you click on device maintenance what the app does is it goes through your phone and it works out how well or not so well it's running and it will detect whether the, um, you can optimize your phone to perform a bit better in any way and what it does is it will tell you you know you've got five gigabytes of memory free which I have at the moment um, it will also tell you your battery info so it says at the moment I've got three hours and 51 minutes of battery left now what it also has is a little number one just there if we click on it it will pull up my battery settings and then it says actually there is one app which has used um one percent of your battery in the last hour so it then gives me the option of clicking on fix now if I click on fix now what it will do is it stops it from running in the background so one app has been put to sleep 
what it what the phone will actually do is periodically will also um, give you a notification saying you know you've got five apps which are draining your battery what you can then do is you can click on the notification and you can decide whether you want to put those apps to sleep or not and um, it also detects at any apps that you haven't used in a long time and that are still constantly draining your battery so it'll go you haven't used this app in a really long time do you still you know want it to draw power in the um, in the background or do you want to turn it off and you have that option of turning it off so that's pretty good um, what else can I show you I can show you display so you can now finally adjust on the display settings screen resolution as well so you can change it from HD full HD or WQHD so at the moment as you can see I've got it set up on WQHD cameras changed as well so if I open up the camera and if you swipe there you go you can see it's got the camera settings so these are your pro mode your um, HDR your pano modes and if I swipe the other way you get access to all of your filters so you've now got filters what's really good is if I triple click so I've got this set up as triple click one two three there you go the screen drops down in size and what this is meant to be is it's a one-handed mode so Samsung have gone right we get it the phone's quite big if you are using it one-handed it's basically impossible unless you're a giant to go from sort of the bottom corner where your thumb is to the top corner you can see I can't get to the top so one-handed mode allows you to shrink or increase the size of the window so that you can control all of this as well um, and if you are left-handed or right-handed you've got the arrow there which allows you to change sides what's also changed is your app management so app management's changed slightly so I can now do um, open in pop-up so I can do oh, how do I do it open in do, do, do. let's see okay so for example I can open in split screen view is now there and I've got that open in split screen view click OK and then I can expand or drop down my messages just like that and then if I wanted to open up my YouTube channel there we go I can open up my YouTube just there as well um, and I can use all of that so that's changed um, and you can see it works a lot better there you go there's my YouTube channel and um, just like magic messages have changed as well so what I will show you is if I expand that all the way it becomes full screen your message window has changed so they have pretty much copied I would say Apple in what it will do is it will either send a message using your um, data allowance so it will send what is essentially like a whatsapp message or it will send a message using your um, text message allowance depending on what connectivity it has and then last but not least my favorite setting that I want to show you guys is developer options just at the bottom there so when you will upgrade to um, Nougat you will not have access to this to gain access to it what you do is you click on about device you then click on do, 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 is it software info yes it is so you click on software info and then you've got the build number just there and what you want to do is you want to rapidly click on build number about five or six times and then you'll get a message that says developer options have been enabled and then what you have is you have develop options menu just there and you have oh, sugar whatever turned on um, you have access to all of the different developer options just there what I'll do is I'll scroll down I think you're gonna see all of this in back all of the writing backwards but I'll scroll scroll down anyway um, hopefully you guys can comment below on what settings you should rec you would recommend I turn on or off um, but you've got access to all of the develop options as well um, overall then pretty good um, I think it's a, definitely a step in the right direction the overhaul is quite dramatic in terms of look and feel it seems a little bit quicker and it just operates you know really well I never had any issues with the s7 edge really 
Um, I think having owned an Edge, I don't think I would get an Edge again, just because I do not use this at all. Um, I know you can get the stat counter thing up on the side, but beyond that, I don't actually use the Edge at all. Um, so, I thought, you know, video is quite good up ahead of the S8 release. Um, I'm going to hold out and see what the S8 has to offer next week. Um, do subscribe and comment and like below. Let me know what you think of the new Nuva update. Um, hopefully, I will get the S8 as well soon. So, make sure you subscribe because I will post a video with first impressions on, on what I think of it as well. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching.